My name is Eric Chang. I'm director of aerial imaging at DJI, and uh, I'm here to show off the M100, which is our new development platform for commercial applications of drones. This is a, it's, it's really a development platform. I mean, we, we sell it as a kit. It has a lot of the technology we've developed for Inspire and Phantom kind of bundled into it, um, as well as a, a, a brand new flight controller called the N1. Um, and it's really made to allow people to, um, to build solutions for problems. You know, so you know, we're seeing a lot of um, interest in industry, of course, um, because drones uh, can offer such amazing efficient efficiency gains and you know, enable people to do things they couldn't do before. Um, and so we wanted to have a platform to allow people to really experiment to see you know, what they can actually do with these things. You know, a lot of the, th the integration that we put into products like the Inspire One do exist in the M100. You know, so you can just put the Inspire camera on, it talks to DJI Pilot, which is our standard app. Um, but much more is exposed. So after you put it together, you'll find that, you know, Lightbridge is in there, of course, but now HDMI, analog video, these things, these ports are exposed, so you can actually pipe those signals in to DJ, through to DJI Pilot. So if you wanted to put a thermal camera on or near-infrared camera on, you could do that yourself. Now, the other thing is that almost every part of the system has been exposed to the outside world via APIs. So our SDK, the, our software development kit, is much more advanced in, uh, in the M100. Um, and of course, it also supports Inspire One and Phantom 3. So those three products kind of use the same family of SDKs. And um, what we've done here is just break the, parts, break the parts out so that you can use them either as part of the M100 or of course in your own builds with, even with third party gear. Now the thing that you see here that is not on any of the other platforms is called guidance. And that's this bar you see here. So on all four sides of the M100, you'll see um, the stereo camera and ultrasonic send and receive. There's also one on the bottom of the unit. Um, that also comes with um, a brain for guidance, and that package is sold separately or bundled in with M100. And what guidance is, is sort of the first sense and avoid system from DJI. Um, out of the box, it will avoid objects, it will move away from objects that it detects. But I think much more powerful is that guidance also has an SDK. So you can ask guidance for things like the stereo images that are coming from the cameras. You can ask it for a list of, like, for the objects that are in the way. You can actually ask for a depth map and it will give you one. Um, so it's sort of ready to go for people who want to use uh, these systems in, in environments where you actually have to rely on autonomy to avoid objects. It's designed to have modular bays, you know, that can hold things like batteries. You can put two batteries on if you want and run for 40 minutes. Uh, you can put your own Linux computer on and interface with ports that talk directly to the flight controller. Um, so there's an embedded SDK as well, so you don't have to necessarily be writing mobile app code uh, that talks over radio. Um, so it's, it's designed to be very flexible that way. At the moment, our developer connections are all by registration, so you do have to register at dev.dj.com, and we're still doing two levels of registration, one for essentially read-only access, and one for the ability to control the aircraft. So, you know, we want to know who is using our code um, so that it's harder for people to do it maliciously, for example, um, and, uh, and that seems to be working so well, you know, pretty well so far. We've had a, a ton of people who are, who are interested. It's available now. Uh, so we have started shipments. Our first customers are, are, are receiving them. Um, I think you know, one, of the, one of the complicated parts about how we're distributing, distributing the M100 is that we are going through our traditional dealer network. So you know, I think the message is really that Yes, you can buy one of these, assemble it, fly it. You can attach things like other cameras and potentially use our existing infrastructure. But it's really designed for you to code against. You know, it's really an SDK platform uh, that is designed to allow you to start experimenting with solutions for real problems that you have that you want to solve. Uh, so the M100 is $32.99. It comes with uh, everything you need to fly, to code against. So it has a flight controller, a battery, um, a propulsion, you know, the frame. Um, the optional components are guidance, so that does not come with it, and that's $9.99. Uh, camera and gimbal, we're not sure which camera and gimbal you'll put on it, so that's sold separately as well. Um, there's also, going forward, going to be um, probably a video encoder and a computer, these sorts of things, like other components that you could put on it. Um, so it's, you know, it's really designed for you to put your own things on.